Hello ladies, I guess this is part two of attacking in the grassroots roadmap. I will be less verbose and more to the point. So you can read this side over here and training sessions and goals. <clears throat> so improve scoring chances. Hold on. So we're attacking, usually in these, demo, uh, these graphics, we're always attacking up. So we're going to improve our scoring chances, improve, um, create chances in this third or section, and then obviously build up from our backside. Okay. Um, let me scroll down to this little section on um, player action. So in the attacking side. So in U6 through U8, we want players to understand how to shoot, dribble, and pass. Right? And we pretty much... If you remember U6, that's pretty much all we ever did, right? U7 and 8, we're going to do some spreading out, create <clears throat> passing opportunities, support the attack. 9 and 10, shoot, pass, dribble. So basically we take all these things, we put it together. We are adding in 2v1s and 1v1s and change the point of attack at U12, which is where we are. We should be able to do all these things, plus change the pace and rhythm of the game. Hmm, what is that? And then switch positions, which you sort of discussed. So we're going to be covering more of uh, those things as the year goes on. But we need to be proficient in this side before we move down. For example, if we could switch the ball really well, but we never shoot, that's a problem. So these skills they create or the actions are based on what, I guess, one, will win you the game, right? And two, the skills necessary for progressing the game to be on the attack and win the game. So if we didn't spread out, it's magnet ball, and it's really hard to move the ball around and get it away from defenders. If we don't create passing options, we just stand there and look at it. And you guys can probably even look back at your own daughter's experience and see that, mm, yep, I see how we took these one by one. So there is a process that we follow. Not every coach uses these, uh, but in reality, when you look at your team, you can kind of decide, okay, this is where we need to fix stuff. Typically, and this isn't all the times, typically... You do a scrimmage, you do a game, you understand what your players are doing on the field because field actual game time looks different than uh, practice time, what the girls will do. So ladies, we will see what you do on the field and then we will put that into practice. So if we have an issue on the offense, let's say we're good at shooting, but we don't really ever take our space uh, right here, dribble forward, or understand when to pass, then we create a drill or a session that utilizes that, right? So these are the player actions and attacking. There's a lot more in the grassroots program, and I'll link this um, sheet in the bottom of the video in the doodly-doo so you guys can go through these. But let me see if I can grab something else. Hey, so I found this one on the uh, USA Soccer that I thought was pretty good. It kind of gives a better explanation of what to expect from a uh, player and parent perspective and what the coaches are trying to do. So you can read these right here. Here we are right here. Learn the fundamentals um, given his or her role and position and tasks in the team. So you hear us talking about that a lot, like trust your teammate, do your job. If you're supposed to go wide, go wide. That way we know to pass out. If you're supposed to cover the back door, cover that because that's what you should do, right? So hold your position, not specifically for position sake, but hold your position so that you, your teammate understands where you're at. All right, I'm going to end this video and we'll go some defense.